Eric, the result was a little bit different, but Davey actually said he felt a little bit more comfortable and better this time out. Could you sense that? For sure. I think there was, you know, he felt like he was able to, you know, from my standpoint, he was able to execute different pitches in different areas, you know, that you might not necessarily ask somebody to do in their first outing. Um, you know, he felt comfortable shaking to what he wanted to go to. And, you know, we, we were able to develop a, you know, a little bit different of a game plan. You know, what really ended up hurting him was, you know, one pitch. Um, and he kind of fought through some traffic. You know, I don't think last time he really had any three ball counts and he had a couple walks this time. So something that, you know, this is, you know, he, he's human. <laughs> Uh, Clark Schmidt, major league debut, coming in in, in a tough spot there. Uh, overall, what did you think of him? Incredible. I mean, his 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 stuff is ever since I've seen him throw in the first spring training. Um, his stuff is incredible. You know, maybe it's one of those situations where maybe it was moving a little too much, um, but he came in and made a nice pitch to Mount Castle, and you know he was able to get it off the end and through the middle. Um, you know, it's something that his his ability to shape pitches like he does, you know, he's able to drive a four seam or run a sinker and spin the curveball. And when your heart's racing that hard, I think it's probably probably a really, really good outing with bad outcomes today. So, you know, it was exciting for him to be able to get that and get his first strikeout. He had mentioned he was pretty amped up and, you know, rightfully so when he got out there. What do you say to, to attempt to calm him down? You know what? You, you kind of try to – it's different in different situations. You know, it's two outs, run on first and second, you know, tying run on second. I, I think some people are like, oh, yeah, try to calm it down. You know what? His stuff's nasty, so why not why not try to why not try to take advantage of that adrenaline and make pitches, which I think you know I think he did there. I think it just ended up you know catching catching a hole through the middle, and you know I, I think later on later on in the outing uh, he was facing one of the righties, and you know it was a situation where we could run the sinker down in off, which is you know one of his best pitches, and it was I went out and told him I was like, hey, this is your this is your spot right here. Take your time, make the pitch, and he was able to do that. And, he was, he was, you know, so there's, there's different times where you got to be able to use that adrenaline and not use it. And, you know, I think he, he did a good job of using both. Not the end result, as you had mentioned, but pretty exciting overall to see potentially the Yankees future when it comes to a couple of arms. For sure. For sure. And I think anytime you have arms like that, like, like those two guys, and I mean, <laughs> Abreu in the bullpen and Yohuri in the bullpen, those guys, it's something that, coming and pitching in New York is is a difficult thing because it's all about doing good right now. And it's really cool to see because all those guys don't expect anything else other than doing good. I think there's some young guys that come to the big leagues and they sit there and they say, well, I'm just so glad I'm in the big leagues. You know, no, these guys, these guys want to win. And I think the Yankees do a good job of preparing guys to come in and win and produce right when they get here.